Well, it's the day after Thanksgiving, and you know what that means. It's Black Friday. That means all the best shopping deals you can find. But for some Americans, things feel a little different compared to last year. Our correspondent, Leonardo Feldman, has the latest from a shopping area in Miami Beach. Leo. Black Friday is somewhat watered down as deals actually started a week before today. Despite this, several customers went shopping as customary. Go shopping for Black Friday? Not yet, but I'm going. I'm going. I'm going big, too. What do you plan on getting? Camera from Best Buy. A single lens reflex camera from Best Buy. And that's it. Is that a good deal? They have a good deal? It's, I think it's 10% off, so... I was going to buy it anyway, and now it's on sale, so I'm going to go buy it. I feel like this time uh, there is no much deals from Best Buy, especially from Best Buy. I don't think it's a good deal. It's not like uh, last year. The prices are very really high. The National Retail Federation tweeted a record 166.3 million shoppers are expected during Thanksgiving weekend, almost 8 million more people than last year. And for Amazon, it's not the day they were hoping for as millions strike in several countries asking for better pay. A Bloomberg article reads, Amazon faces Black Friday protests, strikes in 40 countries. And experts are predicting that for some major retailers like Bed Bath & Beyond, this holiday season will be crucial to their survival. Back to you. Thank you, Leo. And here to continue the conversation, let's bring in a former Trump senior economic advisor, Stephen Moore. Uh, Stephen, good to see you. You know, the analysts are saying this year online spending could reach $9 billion, uh, up 1% from last year, while sales, excluding car dealerships, are expected to increase 15%. Retail giants like Macy's and Kohl's say sales slowed in October and early November as people delayed holiday purchases. But overall, consumer spending continues to be up. The question is, with all this inflation, why? Why is consumer spending continue to rise? Well, a, question, a couple of uh, causes for that. Number one, you've had the government provide so much money into the economy, just, just fl rivers flow of, of money. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars, if not trillions of dollars, and that's flown into the uh, hands of consumers, and they've been spending it for the last year or two, and they continue to spend it. So that's just this kind of free money. Of course, that's massively increased the national debt, so that can't go on, and overall, the effect of that has been quite harmful. But then you have another effect that, that people aren't paying enough attention to, in my opinion, which is what's happened with consumer debt. So if you look over the last year, as you know, the inflation rate has averaged about 8%, and wage growth has averaged about 5%. So you've had this gap in the amount of money people are making and the, the affordability of the products that they buy, whether it's groceries, whether it's hardware supplies, whether, it's, uh, whether it is uh, energy and or gas for the car. And so what's happening is more and more Americans are going into debt to maintain their living standard. And that's a consequence of this runaway inflation that just has to be brought down. And of course, the question is how much longer can people continue to rack up this credit card debt? Right now, it's estimated at about a trillion dollars. 